Some payment gateways will allow you to connect two separate merchant accounts so you can achieve a balance of sales known as load balancing. So today I'm gonna to go over why you might need this, tell you how it works and give you one really important reminder when setting up a load balancing payment gateway account. So to start, what is load balancing? Let's define it first. It's the process of spreading the credit card sales amongst two different merchant accounts while utilizing one payment gateway that is often attached to one checkout page or order form. The types of businesses that would use a load balancing payment gateway are often e-commerce businesses with high amount of sales, high volume, both lots of transactions and high volume, as well as companies that fall into a high risk category. Spreading the risk among two different merchant accounts historically has meant that the risk for the bank goes down, thus making it easier for a high-risk business to keep on selling. So having a balance of sales was sort of a way to hedge against potential problems like getting a merchant account shut down from a spike in sales, for example. Load balancing won't apply to your business if you are low risk or low volume. So if you've found this video because you're doing research on payment gateways and the proper way to sell set them up and use them and you know which one you should use check the links in the description where you can click and schedule a consultation with myself to go over what is specific and right for your business specifically pertaining to a merchant account and a payment gateway if you're not quite sure if you're high risk again check the links in the description because I'll post a website article where you can cross reference a list of high risk merchant account categories and business types so that you can see if your company falls into that particular category so conceptually here's how a load balance Balancing payment gateway works. With online sales, you have an order form or a checkout page that's integrated with a payment gateway. Every time a customer visits your order form and makes a purchase, the payment gateway jumps into action and does its job, which is to facilitate the authorization and approval of the electronic payment for the credit or debit card that's being used. With a load balancing gateway, you have a merchant account number one and a merchant account number two, and visually it would look sort of like this. When a customer clicks the submit button, on the order form, the gateway automatically sends every other transaction to the opposite merchant account. So it just rotates back and forth on every other transaction, thus evenly spreading the sales and load and balancing it automatically, hence the load balancing payment gateway. And that's it. It's pretty straightforward, actually. The software automatically takes care of this. And again, this is only available with certain payment gateways and not all companies will allow this. Not all merchant account providers will allow this. So if you're looking for a payment gateway that will allow load balancing, be sure to check the links below and I'll provide applicable resources so you can get an account set up. Now, before we close out, remember a quick important reminder that I mentioned about setting up a load balancing account, which is that you want to work with a company that'll be able to set up and facilitate setting up both of the merchant accounts and will properly disclose to each bank and merchant account provider that you intend to set up a load balancing account. And the reason is very simply that some merchant account providers don't allow you to have a second merchant account. And if they find out that you do, it could mean a violation of the terms of service for your merchant account and you could get shut down as a result. And obviously you don't want that to happen. So that's load balancing in a nutshell. Conceptually, if you want more videos on payment gateways and merchant accounts, you found this video helpful, hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, give me a thumbs up and, and share this video with a friend if you found it helpful. Leave me a comment below if you have questions about payment gateways. I always do my best to answer the questions that come through on all my videos. So I'm Brian Manning and I'll see you in the next one.